Hi, this is a quick unboxing and review of the Cloud IP camera. This is a small IP camera designed for your home and you can use your mobile device to access it. It came in a big packet like this and not much information back here so let's just turn it back and see what's going on here. So here we have some information to install it. We have here a three step installation. They call it the phone installation trilogy. Here's the three step in install. Here are the phone requirement. You can use iOS or Android and then you can also use your computer. Some of the features of these uh, cameras are H.264 is a megapixel camera so it has a P2P technology so it's easy to plug and play use uh, iPhone, Android, iPad two-way communication, you have Wi-Fi it also supports power over internet as an optional package it takes up with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card and it has cloud storage here are some of the content and then down here you have some diagram of the installation so let's just go ahead and unbox it and see what comes inside Here we have a phone, we have a little user menu, this one is look like it's in Chinese. Yep. Uh, this is some more information, a warranty card is also totally in Chinese. And we have the camera here, put it to the side here for a second. We have the base. We have a flat Ethernet cable. And we have some uh, mounting accessory here. And then more mounting screw. And then finally uh, we have the power adapter here. And that's basically about it. So this is the base of the camera if you want to mount it this way. You also have a little mounting kit here to mount it to the camera. And then here is the camera itself as you can see. And up front here you have some LED indicator. Look like you have a wireless, Ethernet and then a power indicator. Up here you have a motion sensor. Uh, really nice. This is different from the other one I've seen before. This has a built-in infrared sensor. It looks like this is a button, but it doesn't seem to do anything. And then you have here some infrared light for night vision. The lens here are adjustable, so that's good. And then you have the microphone here. So in the back here, you have the QR code and some information to connect to it. Down here, you have a little reset pin and then a function button. You have the audio out here, and you also have a high volt power input, and then there's the Ethernet port. And over here on the side you have the micro SD slot used to record stuff. So to mount your stuff together, look like we screw this guy into here, like this. Uh, what I didn't really like is that this little attachment here is uh, make out complete plastic. So I don't know how well it's going to fare out, but this part is plastic. I wish it was uh, metal. And then you just tighten this guy into this. Plate also pop off for you to screw it into the wall like that. And then so due to the user menu being only in Chinese, I was able to figure out the app to use and it's similar to a previous app I used because this camera is from the same company. They make two different cameras, this camera and then a pen and tail which I also review. So the app you need is called MIPC and that's the one you need to download. To set up this camera the first time you do need to plug it into your arrow using the cable that's included. So connect to the internet cable and power it on and then launch this application. You enter the ID and then also the password which you can also do by just doing the QR code and after that you can just click next and it will add the device. After that you do want to set up the Wi-Fi so just pick your Wi-Fi from your list of your home Wi-Fi and then connect to it. It's recommended that you set up the Wi-Fi because after this you want to go mobile with the camera using the Wi-Fi and uh, you don't want to plug it all the way in so just set up your car, your wireless uh, access point information and then uh, click apply and then it should just register and finally the confirmation screen letting you know everything is ready so you just press ok and uh, previously I have another camera so here is my current camera right now it's dark now though so here we go so you have some uh, functionality here you can go back to the main menu that take you back to the uh, main menu where you can add more camera and check your other camera out and then you can click on each camera and go inside and inside you have up here you have you have here the icon for a speaker you can turn it on to listen to the audio you can hear mostly static right now uh, it's kind of loud uh, it's actually pick up a lot of static so that's uh, not not a very good mic now and then you have the mic you can talk to it you also have a button here to take a picture and that will take a picture and save it to this application which you can export there we go and you can export you have the option to export in here done then you also have the option here to uh, record a video as your card not ready so you do need an SD card in order to record next you have this option here and then you have a control here brightness, contrast, saturation, sharpness you have mode for auto 
day and night so you can set the uh, infrared camera to automatically come on and off and then here you have the resolution you can pick and this is up to 720p and the lowest it can be is 160 by 90 so pretty small mobile size at the bottom here you have three buttons you have live and when this version you cannot move the camera so therefore uh, swiping left and right doesn't do anything well with the pen and tilt that will do something so this is a static camera that's where it's pointing at right now and then here you have the recording and here is you can see if you have a SD card in there you can actually check the different recording which I will show a little bit later and then finally you have setting and in setting you have all these different options so here in the setting you have a lot of information you have about which show you the camera information it's an uh, ID and all that kind of stuff you have nickname you can change right now it's not set to anything so let me just set it to something that should be it you also have the option to change the admin password and then the guest password, the network you connect to, the on-screen display, you want anything to display right now, it's displaying day and time. Uh, you have SD card, which right now it doesn't have any, but I will install that. And then you have motion sensitivity, alarm, daytime. You also have recording scale, which you can set up, dif uh, set up different recording. You have each different scale here, you can set it to record. And you have system, which you can uh, check to make sure you do a restore, upgrade to a new version. Right now it's saying there's a new version here we can upgrade to. Uh, currently we're using 1.3 and we're going up to up, currently we're using 1.3 and look like we can upgrade to 1.7 also you have others uh, which have some of the setting for the audio microphone flip the image power frequency and then finally you can also delete the camera so I opted to upgrade the software and uh, I just click the upgrade and it's doing that right now I'm still connected to the wire while like I was downloading the update so now I can just go ahead and hit uh, reset now to go ahead and do the update and now you can see here we are now upgrade to version 1.7 so this is the latest version so we're good to go so you can access this camera over the web by accessing the address www.mipcm.com there you can use the same account that you registered for earlier when you were setting up your camera and here you can log in and after log in this is the first screen you get so right now I have two camera I have the pen and tilt version of this camera which is this guy here and I also have this camera which is the one I just set up here so this one uh, of course there's no pen and tilt and this one will just be a static camera but you can see here here's the stream and it's a live stream right now so over here you have kind of control over here you have brightness control you have a uh, contrast saturation sharpness these are the things that you can change around you can also change the mode to day night and automatic so let's go to night for example here there's a flicker and then it will go into night mode and right now I have a light on so you can see uh, there's a bit light but this is what you can expect to pick up at night it look pretty nice so let's go ahead and put it back to uh, auto so here you have the frequency power you can change to 60 Hertz that's uh, normally what I use for indoor and uh, you also have flip which you can flip the image upside down you can see there we go so if you hang this camera upside down you can do that out of that you also have this rotate control button here but this doesn't work for this camera because it's a static camera at the bottom here you have some button so this one is a live feed right now you press it it will stop and you press it again to start so here we can try to record by pressing the record button here and there's an SD card in there but it's not ready because we have to uh, format the SD card so right now it's not formatted I'm gonna go ahead and do the picture taken here same thing, it will take a picture and it will pop up on the screen here and it will save it so you can turn on the mic here to talk to the mic so this way uh, the other person can hear you you can also turn on the speaker here to listen so other than that we have playback so let's go to playback and check it out here so if we go to record for example we can see that we have a snapshot earlier so let's just go to setting so under setting here we can go to the SD card and here you can see that I have an SD card connected I have a gig of SD card in here so you can format it, you can unmount it, this kind of thing so now we go back to home for example and do a live feed this you can now press record and you can see the icon is recording right now and it's recording so under playback here you can have the recording that's today right now that I record earlier open this up and then there's a recording and you can press play and it will load the video So the only downside to this is that uh, it's a little bit cumbersome and the interface is not that nice. So overall this 720p cloud camera works pretty well. Quality of this camera is pretty good. At 720p it's really nice and you have the ability to adjust a uh, high to low resolution so that you don't have to use as much bandwidth especially when you're on mobile. The app on iOS is pretty decent and it allows you to add multiple cameras. I previously used the app and I do found that it's uh, pretty responsive has plenty of features. However I do think that the app can use some improvement. I also recently used a Foscam 
Instagram app and it was a much better app. Other than that, the motion sensor works pretty well. You can set the sensitivity and have it record straight to the SD card and that's worked well, especially for those who doesn't have a whole uh, elaborate camera setup and you only have one or two cameras and you can have their own recording. As far as wireless signal, I have this on for a week and I use it exclusively on wireless and it seems to work pretty well without losing reception. I do want to point out that I am roughly about 30 40 feet away from my router which is uh, to a whole floor so it's uh, the router is actually a little bit below me and over on that side for me the advantage of this camera is for a lot of people is that a quick three step to set up and a lot of newbies who enter this market uh, will really enjoy this camera the one thing that I do want to point out is that I'm unable to get the stream of our use camera so if you need to connect this to for example a, a Synology box or any of those other camera software on your computer to record the footage uh, you can't do that there's no way to get the stream of this guy and I've been trying uh, I'm unable to do that so the only way you're gonna be able to record anything is using the camera software and also the website the company promised to release a future cloud storage but uh, so far I haven't seen that it's been a few months I haven't seen anything yet so I hope you just quick little review hope you in your budget decision if you have any question please let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you